these are the materials that I'll be using. This is a three and a half inch styrofoam balls, one inch dress pins, and then I got my fabrics and I cut them um, two and a half inch by one and a half inch. Um, all I did is I got the strips, the jelly roll strips, and they come in two and a half inch, so I cut them one and a half inch towards the side, and I got the rectangles. Now I'm going to mark the center of the styrofoam. As you can see, it's right here, and then right over here. So what I'm gonna do is I cut a two and a half by two and a half inch styrofoam, and I am going to mark the center of it. I just do a little square and then I dent it here. That way it marks, as you can see, and then I or the other side, put a pin, and then I put this right in the center, right here. Let me get this little thing here. So now what I'm going to do, hold on, let me pin the corners just to hold everything in place. Now I'm gonna start with the green fabric and this is how I'm going to fold it. Remember they are two and a half inch by one and a half inch and then I fold it towards the inside right here and then there we go and that way you're gonna get um, smaller triangles you can see the difference that this is smaller triangle instead of going the like the other tutorials that I have that I usually fold them like this and this is a two and a half by two and a half inch square so now you can see the difference this is wider one So, okay, we have the mark, so we're gonna put a pin right here. I usually try to, go, no, let's do it here. So we're gonna pin it here. This is gonna get covered by the fabric. So this is the center. Now I'm going, I usually use the width of my nail, so I'm gonna mark the width of my nail. And then I'm gonna pin it this way and then go all the way to the other side the edge and then pin everything in place and there you go now let's do some more Now what I want to do is take this fabric with this print and I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the green tri um, rectangles folded in triangles. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one 
on top of the green ones. I'm just going to leave a quarter of an inch and I'm going to fold it and let's see how it looks. No. I think I'm going to have to leave more. You can see you can see a little bit of the green. I don't want it to go that much. There you go. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other three triangles. to do the same thing but instead of doing the width of my nail from the center and putting them at this point the one in between I'm going to put them or pin them lower what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark my width but from here not from the center I'm going to mark the width of my nail sorry that way I can put it here and we'll cover the pen and then put it here. And you can see this one is lower and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other three sides and then I'm going to cover on top with this fabric exactly as we did on the first row. One trick you can do is, I already have the green fabric pin, so I'm going to use those same pins that I used to hold the green fabric, and then I will hold everything, that way you can save pins. See. Let's continue. So now everything that's pinned, I'm going to take this fabric and I'm going to put it in between the triangles here. Here, this is what I'm going to do. Right in between and I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. Well, not pretty much, exactly the same thing. You see? And now I'm going to go in between the triangles. Try to make sure that all the folds goes on, go toward the same side and that they are pretty much at the same height here. You can see, okay. I am not pushing the pins all the way down because I'm going to put another fabric on top and I want to reuse those pins. That way it's easier for me to take them back out. Now I'm going to take the green fabric again and repeat the same folding process and then the green one I'm going to put them right on top of the beige one.
acontecer. There you can see, oops, there you can see a little bit, and then I'm going to use the pins. There you go. Okay, do the same thing on top of all the beige triangles. gonna do or I'm gonna do exactly this on the other side and then all those pins here is they're gonna get cover and then we are going to embellish it to cover all those pins in between the two sides all I did is I took this piece of fabric, um, remember I told you, or oh, I don't know if I told you, I used jelly roll fabric. So I used this one, which is the same as this fabric that I use here. You can do it with ribbon if you want, like I have here to make the bows. You can use ribbon and that way you can also cover the pins. But in this case, I want to use the fabric and I just fold it in half and then this size towards the inside and here you have a strip now I'm going to put it maybe here because I want to see where is the top hold on where I'm going to hang them hang the ornament so this is gonna be the top okay a pen and then I'm going to you can see here you can see some pins so that means I have to move them and then if you have a little bit of extra fabric like here you can trim that also I just want to make sure this Everything's going to go that way. I know where I'm going to move all my pins. Okay. Now I'm going to make the bow. For the ornament, I usually use this one inch pins, but for the bow, I don't know if you can see, this is a larger pin. I think this one is one and a quarter. Hold on. Maybe you can see it here if I put it on my hand. You see this one is longer? So I like to use the longer ones for the bow. So all I do, this is how I make your, my bows. I know there's a bunch of ways to make them. But this is how I do it. So I'm gonna do this with five strips of, uh, of ribbon in the color green, five in beige, and five in peach. So here I have the bowl. And then I'm going to put that right where I finish putting the side fabric. And it's going to go here. But, let me see. I like to put a little bit of glue to hold everything in place. Make sure that everything is centered. There it goes. Yeah. Now what I like to do is take the pen and take this little cap. You know, they're, they're used to make beads um, or jewelry, I must say. 
and all I do is I insert the pin through the middle. Hold on. Right through there. I don't know if you can see how it goes. And then I close it. I'm going to get some glue. Just to make sure that this will stay in place. And then at the bottom, I'm going to insert the pen. Take a head pen and then I'm going to put some beads. Hold on, let me close the glue. And I'm going to insert it. Hold on. And now I'm going to take a long cap. Also is for chewing. Jump ring. the jump ring, I'm going to insert this here. Thank you.